Structure Design on Luca 2. The project name is the Luca Sequel. Project intent is to create a sequel of the 2021 film Luca, which was created by Disney Pixar Studios. The intent is to create a new movie that follows the original theme by placing Luca in a different scenario regarding the next stage of his life. This would involve the emotional perils of going through the school in a new town whilst also struggling to be himself. The theme will follow suit from the original movie. It will be about being yourself, coming of age, and embracing change. Materials that I had to start with. The completed original film, the completed script of the original film, the original theme, Luca's backstory, and Julia and Alberto as characters. The constraints. The target age group must be under 15 years of age because Luca is unapologetically a children's movie through and through, as Tabaki says. Luca must be used as one of the main protagonists. Julia must be one of the protagonists, as Luca will be staying at her mother's house. Luca's sea monster identity must remain a secret until the last act to invoke tension throughout the film. Julia must be involved. The film must take place in Italian culture, and Alberto must not be forgotten or left behind. Logline. Luca wants to go to school to learn about the world. He stays with Julia and her mum in a new town. However, Luca's identity must be kept a secret in this new town for his own safety. As the people of this town do not accept or believe in sea monsters. Whilst in school, Luca and Julia enter a science fair and try to win so that they can prove to themselves and the other students who constantly taunt them. Synopsis. Luca's hidden identity, being a sea monster, has been accepted by the townspeople of Porto Rosso. However, now Luca wants to go to school with Julia and learn about the world. Set in a new town that is not so, not so accepting of sea monsters, Julia must teach Luca how to fit in and be human, so that his true identity is not found out. Julia and Luca discover to be, to be cool, they must enter a science competition and win. But to do so, they must find a new friend to be a part of their team, whilst Luca learns... New things he keeps in contact with Alberto back in Porto Rosso, sen sending letters about their schooling adventures. Whilst Alberto returns letters explaining how he enjoys freedoms in the accepting town with his new fatherly figure. What structural design is appropriate and why? Using time limited, multiple protagonists, three act structure, and the six sequence structure. So, time limited. Having a time limit creates tension in the story. The characters have to succeed before time runs out. This is used in the first movie in multiple ways. The three protagonists must train to race in a cup for things that they have never done before in order to win the Vespa and their freedom, whilst also avoiding Luca's parents and hiding their own identities, such as like a ticking time bomb. To use the same structure as the first movie, the second movie revolves around learning how to be human and have the time limited thing to learn how to create a science project to win not only a prize but also the respect of the other students just as the first movie when they let they earn the respect of the townspeople and they win the vespa now multiple protagonists like in the first movie the sequel should follow the parallel narrative this should involve luca and julia as a continuation from the ending of the first film as they set off on their own adventure together they could have consecutive stories with scenes that are in Alberto's point of view when he receives and or sends letters to and from them, when they are reading his stories and even with the possibility of having a reunion scene at the end when the holidays begin again. This allows the audience to follow the continuation of all three of the original protagonists that the audience had already invested in through the original film. Now the three act structure, six sequence structure of the original film versus setting up the new film. Here's the setup of the original film using Aristotle's three-act structure. Using this previous structure from the original film and how the movie moves through scenes and emotional impacts, I have used the three-act structure with the combination of the six-sequence structure to set up the concept of the sequel and why the structure should follow the same style. Now, Act 1 in the three-act structure, there is the stage 1, the setup, the turning point, and stage 2. So during the setup... Using the same structure as the first film, the setup should have backstory into the myths of the sea monsters and then show Luca's current situation and evoke a small amount of tension into the audience just before Luca is introduced, which could be done through a teacher reading a storybook and when she reaches a certain part about the sea monster, Luca can enter the classroom. This emphasizes that the story is in fact related to Luca. This instills sim similar fear and tension shown during the first movie when the sea monster introduced in the story 
is introduced into the story and the story tells of a dangerous beast. However, the beast is only Alberto. This also sets the stage to show that Luca must hide his true identity and cannot reveal his true form in this new town. Otherwise, he is at risk of being attacked or imprisoned. Now, the opportunity. Once the teacher completes the story, the school bell rings and Luca goes into the hallway. He meets up with Julia, reuniting the emotional bond between the two characters in the audience to experience a feeling of relief and happiness as they both ended up at school together. They are approached by school bullies who sneer at Luca for being Julia's friend and for acting different, just as Eric Hall, Eric Hall did in the original movie. And the bullies offer Luca a position in their friend group, but Luca declines, sticking by Julia. This evokes anger and annoyance in the bullies, and they promise to make their lives a living hell. This, in turn, evokes anger, annoyance, and sympathy into the audience, knowing full well what it is like to be a teenager at a new school with the fear of bullies. This also evokes evokes anticipation in the audience to see how Luca and Julia are going to stand up for themselves and maintain Luca's identity. The new situation. This involves the discovery of the yearly science competition to win money. Julia and Luca realize if they win, they will not only feel the pleasure of beating the bullies who have won the competition for every year in the last couple of years, but also guarantee them a spot in society as normal students. This follows the same structure as Julia's emotional journey in the original film. She yearns to beat Urkel no matter what the cost, to become better than him and not to be just a joke to the villagers and the other kids. In the first film, Luca and Alberto want to win a Vespa to escape the daily lives. However, for the second film, it would be a combination of escaping the wrath of the bullies and feeling the joy if they can best them at their own game and winning so that they can continue their schooling without being a laughingstock. This evokes interest in the audience, giving them a reason to continue watching, to discover how Luca and Julia go about this competition with the disadvantage of Luca knowing very little about the human world. In Act 2, there is the Turning Point 2, Stage 3, Turning Point 3, and Stage 4. The Stage 2 is Change of Plans. When Luca and Julia go to sign up for the science competition, they are told they need another member as a part of their team to compete. They write to Alberto about their news and Alberto writes back telling them how his days are going whilst also mentioning they should find someone as cool as him to join and to remember to silencio Bruno when fear appears, just as he did several times throughout the original film. Adding Alberto to this film unites the emotions left at the ending of the first film, showing the audience that nothing can break their friendship apart, evoking serenity into the audience. This also gives Luca something to look back on in his new world, giving him comfort in the fearful moments to come. The stage three is the progress. Whilst Julia tries to teach Luca how to act normal, they happen across another kid in the library who seems to be just as weird as they are. They also have several plans for a science experiment set down in notes. This is similar to the scenes in the original movie when Julia teaches the boys how to do things such as eat eat pasta in an efficient manner evoking more of a bond between Luca and Julia and the audience with their struggles to be normal. They ask the new kid to join their team and the kid accepts. This evokes admiration from the audience for Luca who would normally be very fearful when it comes to talking to people as well as an interest in who the new character is and what they want out of the competition and our main characters. The point of no return. When the new kid accepts the invitation, the audience will feel curiosity into who the new person is, much like in the original film when Alberto and Luca join Julia for the first time. Whilst Luca and Julia, although happy they have a teammate, they are also anxious about trusting a new person to join their gang. This will evoke anxiety and sympathy on the mistrust that the new kid could have alternate intentions. The three of them sign up for the competition, giving the audience an ounce of joy that the protagonists now have a chance at winning. Whilst doing so, just in the, just as the original film, they are threatened by the antagonist to back out now or face the wrath, giving the audience a shift into a mix of fear for Luca and a laugh of disbelief that these bullies couldn't do anything. This follows the same structure used in the original film when Urkel threatens them and takes their money, only to return and out of spite to see them lose. The three of them begin to work on their project, putting days of work in and practicing their performance to their future audience together. This allows the audience to bond with the new character and trust them as Luca and Julia begin to. Complications and high stakes. On the way home from school one day, before the competition, there is a freak shower and Luca gets wet. This instills fear and anticipation into the audience, keeping them hooked to see if Luca is seen. 
Julia and Luca feel the fear whilst they do their best to hide him and hurry home. However, not to their knowledge until the next day, the bullies had seen and in fact filmed Luca turning into a sea monster on the way home. When Luca and Julia return to school the next day, the bullies threaten to out him unless they leave the science competition. This evokes anger, fear, anticipation, and sadness into the audience, making them want to help Luca, but also find, figure out what Luca wants to do next. In Act 3, there's the Turning Point 4, Stage 5, Turning Point 5, and Stage 6. So a major setback. Luca must decide what to do in order to keep himself, Julia, and their new friends safe. Luca writes to Alberto to ask his opinion, and Alberto tells him to just continue with the competition because people would just think the video is fake. This causes the same emotional reaction Julia had in the first film when she discovered Luca's true identity, which is a mix of fear and tension. However, Luca is too scared and decides not to risk it and leaves the group. This is similar to when Luca quits the team in the original movie after Julia tells him it is not safe for him to exist in the town as a sea monster. And the little fight between Alberto and and Luca. This will evoke sadness and relief into the audience as Luca will remain safe. However, he had to leave the group in order to protect himself and his friends, causing Julia to be unable to continue in the competition, making the audience feel sorry for the both of them. However, Julia feels betrayed by Luca giving up. This is the same emotional structure used when Alberto was left behind immediately after he revealed his sea monster form to, to Julia and Erica. This causes the audience to feel grief for the friendship and its sudden end. When at home the following evening, the final push, sorry, excuse me. When at home the following evening, the night before the competition, Julia's mum speaks to Luca privately, explaining something along the lines about Julia being quite hot-headed and as kids in school can be scary. But you have to be yourself. No matter how weird you are, being yourself is the answer to your own happiness. This scene is meant to spark inspiration into the characters and the audience, just as the scene in the original film where Luca goes to apologise to Alberto and decides to run the race himself, knowing the risks of being discovered. Once inspired, Luca writes to Alberto about his mistake and races to find Julia, who has not yet returned home. He finds her in the hands of the bullies, arguing. He jumps in to protect her, the bullies laugh, and shove Julia to the ground in triumph over them being out of the competition. However, Luca stands up and declares that they are in fact not out of the competition and they will win. This evokes fear into the audience that Luca's identity will be revealed, but Luca stands his ground and the bullies eventually leave him. Leave them. The scene of this emotional structure is very similar to the scene in the original film when Luca reaches the start line and Ericol taunts him. The climax. Julia accepts Luca's new decision and his apology. Then they set out to find the other teammate. When they find this character, they rush to complete their project, and the next day they enter the competition. This evokes tension, happiness, and anticipation into the audience, and they keep watching to see what happens. During the day of the competition, the sky is cloudy and rumbling, just like in the original film, evoking more tension about Luca's hidden identity. When Luca's team is called on stage to present their project, it begins to rain. Julia tries to cover Luca, as Alberto did in the original film, in fear for Luca, but the judges get impatient, forcing the team to enter, to either continue with the presentation or quit. The bullies sneer in the crowd. This emotional structure here will be to the same tension that is the same as the scene in the original film, when it begins to rain and Erico sneers, sneers at Luca when he's hiding under the roof, whilst falling behind in the race. Fear, anticipation, and sadness. However, Lucas steps out from behind Julia, revealing his true form before the hundreds of people at the fair. This makes the audience feel a mix of fear for Luca and joy, that he has finally stepped out of his comfort zone to reveal his true identity, just like they did when he decided to ride out into the rain in the original film. <coughs> the Aftermath <coughs> The crowd gasps in awe and fear. Luca continues their presentation whilst the bullies try to get on the stage. This evokes fear in the audience and anticipation. This is just like when fear is invoked in the original film when Ericol and his friend grabs the harpoons and attempt to attack Luca and Alberto, making the audience hate the bullies completely. However, the other member of the team sticks up for Luca just as Julia's dad had in the original film, invoking joy and relief into the audience. The judges accept him and listen to their presentation. In the end, Luca and Julia and the new character win the competition, evoking happiness, joy, and amazement into the audience. And the rest of the crowd at the fair also accept Luca's true identity. Some of the other kids also drop their umbrellas, revealing that they too were hiding secret identities, caused the audience, causing the audience to experience a small amount of shock than joy on the twist that there are other sea monsters hiding in plain sight, just as was shown in the original film. 
The recommendation summary. For the sequel of Luca, it is recommended to follow the same structural sequence of the first film, to engage with the same target audience and invoke the same emotional reactions as seen in that three-act structure. The, the classic three-act structure combined with a six-sequence structure allows the audience to feel the same experiences that they did during the first film and connect with the characters in the same way, whilst not leaving behind some of the characters from the first film. 